Hi guys, so we're back again today. Today's question has to do with using Seesaw. If you are using Seesaw, a lot of people have been asking if you can use Google Classroom through Seesaw or can you use Boom Cards with Seesaw? The answer is yes. You can actually use both. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you have Kinders and you are using Google Classroom and you are using Boom Cards, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. It is pretty complicated and you have to adjust on your side and your kids are going to have to adjust on their side. It can be done and if you want to know how, I can send you to a video that will show you. I didn't make the video, but I'm not going to try Google Classroom on, on Seesaw. It's too difficult to unlock those pieces within Seesaw, so I'm not using Google that way. However, Boom cards are perfect on Seesaw. You can either go in using the fast, play, fast pin um, way, which is really easy, or you can use the hyperplay link, which will give you the data. So you have to decide, do you want data? Do you not care about the data? Of course, the easy way is with no data, but it can be done both ways on Seesaw and I'm gonna walk you through the steps so that you'll see how to do it. Okay, so here I am at Seesaw and I'm gonna log in. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to go to your inbox. That's how I've been doing it and do a student announcement and say add. You're going to send an announcement and you can send it to all your students and you're gonna say, play the game and then you're going to add an attachment and you want it to be this link so you're going to do that now let me go up to my boom and here you want to go to boom and go to your library and so let's say I want my kids to work on um, okay let's go over here at a garden measurement okay come to the action button click fast pin say generate fast pin and then copy this link right here just copy it go back to your seesaw whoops um sorry go back to your seesaw and then paste that right there say okay and it's adding that to their account so now um it just you know it takes a minute Okay, so now here it is, and you can record yourself. Um, I hope you enjoy playing the game. You know, whatever you want to say. And click OK. Now, if you send that to your students, they're going to get it. So let's go um, back to my class, and we'll look at it, what it looks like from a student's perspective. So now I'm gonna to go to my student and she has to go up to the inbox because that's where it is. And you can see I just did that. So now she plays. I hope you enjoy playing the game. And she clicks it. So it brings her right to the game and she can play the game. One, two, three, and good to go. So you can assign it like that. But remember when you use that fast pin, you get no data. So let's say you want data. So let's start all over again. And this time we'll use it where you get the data. Okay, so if you want the data on your boom decks, you have to make sure you assign it first. You can't just hit that hyperplay link and they get it. So you have to come up to your classes, go to your class, and I'm going to make an assignment. So I go up to my library and I want them to work on um, this. So this I'm monster subtraction. So I'm going to assign that to my class. So now I can go back to Seesaw. So now I'm in Seesaw. Um, here I am in my class and I'm going to go to my inbox. I'm going to send an announcement. I'm going to send it to all my students, play um, the subtraction game. I'm gonna add an attachment. 
I make the link. Now this is where you have to come back up here to your library, go to that deck. Remember I wanted to do monster subtraction, click that blue action button, get the hyperplay link, copy the link, go back to Seesaw. I know it's a lot of steps and hit um, the check mark. Now you can add um, directions here. Remember, you're going to need to log in to play your game, right? Whatever. I mean, you can put in whatever you want. Hit the check mark and send. Now let's go in from the student's perspective, okay? I'm gonna go back to my class and I'm gonna come in as if I'm my sample student. I'm gonna go to my inbox Oh, here's an assignment. Let's listen. Remember, you're going to need to log in to play your game. Okay, they click it and it brings them here and it's gonna tell them you need to log in. Okay, I'm gonna sign in with Boom and I am a sample um, student and I put in my password, I sign in and here it is right here. And now I can go ahead and um, do my deck and you will get the data on it through that. Some people like to do that because then you are only assigning one deck at a time. So up to you. I hope that helps. Remember, fast play is easier for you and them, but you're not going to get the data. And if you want the data, just do that couple extra steps for the hyperlink. I hope that helps. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful. Um, remember, you can use Google Classroom with Seesaw, and if you want to do that, please email me, and I'll send you the link to the video of this girl who figured it out, and you can try it. But if you're using Seesaw, I really recommend that you use Boom Cards. And like I said, if you don't want the data, use the easy way. If you want the data, it's just, you know, your kids have an extra step, but you get the data. So it's up to you to decide. I hope that was helpful. And remember, keep the questions coming and I will try to answer them as best I can. Stay safe, everyone.